What's that dog? It's a dad. <laughs> Barrett and I are trying to clean out the back of the truck because it's a mess. And uh, we're gonna do a little bushcraft here. I got my bird's nest right here. I got my fire starters. <laughs> Hold that Barrett. Right. Let's see if I can. Just, you know, artisans always carry a ferro rod and a knife on their keychain. So we can just pull this off. People are always saying, don't use the sharp edge. Well, it works better. One strike, baby. Nah. What do you think about if it was going to start the boxer on I guess it is. <laughs> All right, so we'll figure out. Here, let's get it over here. We'll take it to the burn barrel. Cool. It. Got it, boy. Alrighty. You're just a videographer. that end up? Yep. So I won't fall off? Thank you. Make sure my pants aren't on fire. Yeah, again. your pants on fire. Okay. <laughs> See what we're doing, Barrett? Mm -hmm. We ordered this metal. That look nice. Yeah. And this is for a, uh, there's a dehumidifier behind this and a little cabinet we built. And uh, now we're going to take this to the powder coater and uh, have the powder coated black. You know, I just want it. Yeah, it will. That Makita cutoff grinder has been good, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. I like that little case that comes in. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, like it's kind of heavy duty. It's not super heavy duty, but it works well and it I think it latches. Yep. <laughs> Makita's a pretty good brand for the grinders. Now we're gonna put cut these little stops to go around the little groove on the edge, and then when we get our metal powder coated, we'll put that'll be our little stop to hold it in. Where's the miter box, Barrett? <laughs> <laughs> Barrett was like, I said, go get the miter box. He was he was going to get the big old 12 inch. Like, what we need this big old thing for? <laughs> I this by hand, boy. Little bitty strips. Your grandma could do that. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. I think I'll leave the line in there just to make it a little bit tighter. Uh, how do they make this out of oak? <laughs> See if that fits. It should be snug. Yep. Nice and snug. It's that one. And we'll put the other end on. And we'll put the two long ones in between them. 
mark this with my it's got like a dull side to it I'm marking it on see that bear yeah Where'd it go? Black mark on a black. These little cheap Meyer boxes come in handy. Nice and snug. make you a little mark and then you look and see how that mark actually fits whether I need to leave the lining or not on this one I need to leave more than the lining in so I mark a little bit maybe a 30 second short I'm having a hard time finding my mark there it is oops Pretty good. Mm hmm. One more. We'll be cooking with gas. <laughs> sure, that's tight. So I gotta cut that one in the middle of. I made that a little bit long, so I'm gonna cut that one in the middle of the mark. Gotcha. Right there. I'll touch it. I'll take some. Well, what we'll do is we'll take this marker and we'll mark all the ends of them. Like yeah, that, that makes sense. In case the edges show or anything. go see and that see that was cutting it'll kind of rub the yeah fix that all right so now we just need some powder coated metal well we got the truck cleaned out mm -hmm. got the door ready to powder coat that's lunchtime mm -hmm. all right <laughs>